Hi everyone, this is Tammy, owner of Worthy, Worth It, and Priceless. And today's podcast is titled, God Has Prepared You. When we're going through life's journey, especially if we're about to start a new career, or we're going to go back to school, or whatever, or wherever your life is currently right now, just know that God has prepared you. What I want to do is give you a little bit of encouragement. Um... I know that in my life as of right now, basically doing podcasts, I have talked about this on the videos before. I was extremely shy. A lot of people who have even been around me would think that I was a mute because I actually never talked. Um, I never, unless I really knew you or something like that, a lot of times I don't speak. And it is so crazy to me that, you know, I have a podcast as of right now. And I also have the blog as well as I have done videos in the past. And the funny thing about it has been, like I said, God has actually prepared me once or when I was younger, I never really... I don't want to say I was antisocial. I actually stayed to myself. I stayed to myself so much that if I was in trouble at the house, my parents to punish me, usually, you know, if you get in trouble, your parents punish you by telling you to go in your room. Well, it got to the point I was always in my room. So it wasn't like, you know, something that they could just say, hey, go into your room. For me, my punishment was to actually stay out and be out with the family. So while I was in my room, actually, I would, I was basically pretending I was in uh, imagination land, if you will. I had my own talk show. I had a cooking show and I can't, you know, I would, you know, listen to music. I was a performer. I was everything, but it was behind closed doors. And the thing about it is sometimes when you do that, people don't realize that you actually have a personality outside of the things that they see, you know, because basically, you know, obviously, like I said, but, you know, like when I was out in public, I barely would talk. So people didn't see that that portion. I have no idea how I got here. I have no idea. Um, but I believe through God, it was just a point of me by his grace and everything that I have actually been through. I have a story to tell and I just didn't want to actually go down or, or I don't want to say go down, but I didn't want to basically, well, I guess, you know, that's what you have to say. Um, I didn't want to actually die and not express myself or people actually think I actually couldn't speak because by the grace of God I am actually intelligent and the thing about it is a lot of times when we silence ourselves people don't know that we there's actually more to us and what happened was that being by myself being isolated that actually helped me it helps me um because I actually know myself a lot more um I remember when I did used to get in trouble as a child, my parents would ask me or whoever I was getting in trouble with, uh, they would ask me, well, well, my nickname as a child was Bubble. And I'm like, Bubble, why did you do that? And I'm like, I don't know. And they are like, you do know. Why did you do it? I'm like, I don't know. But it's like, but I actually wanted to start figuring out within myself why was I doing certain things that I wanted to do so I started asking myself questions and I started getting to know myself even more so with me doing that it has helped me to not only be honest with people but also be honest with myself Um, I know myself a lot more and it has helped me even with being honest with you guys and just telling my story and so with that like with doing the videos and everything from a child I was doing this it was doing it as far as pretend but God was preparing me for where he was taking me like you know you think as a child I'm just using my imagination and you know 
to you you're not using your imagination because you don't sometimes you don't know what that word is but you're just you know you're pretending or make believing but you never know where God is going to take you so it just he's preparing you to get to that next level now it's easy for me to actually do videos and it's easy for me to do um, I guess this podcast and I actually love doing a podcast by the way but um, because at the end of the day I've been doing this for years you know I've been doing it since I was a child and the thing about it is it's just finding what awakens that in you so you have something special inside of you don't be afraid to actually leap and go after those things that make you special. A lot of times we allow fear to stop us from getting to where we are. I remember uh, years ago, before I even started YouTube, I was thinking about doing YouTube. And I would get in contact with some people who already had YouTube videos or I look at um, their inspirations and stuff. But for the most part, a lot of it was like, well, you just got to go out there and just do it. And I was just so deathly afraid until one day, you know, I wasn't afraid anymore, I guess. Um, and even if I think I was still afraid, but at the end of the day, when I got in front of the camera, I was already, you know, I was ready. I was on. So it wasn't, you know, I like I said, I guess God already prepared me for it. But that's sometimes that's what it takes. You have to be pushed into where you have to go. Or, you know, God will put you in the place where you have to go. It's You never know where your life is going to take you. I mean, when I started nine years ago, when I started doing videos, or no, I'm sorry. When I started doing pillows, I would have never guessed that the pillows would have gotten into where they are right now. Um, when my grandmother actually taught me how to make pillows, I was actually in a depressed mode. Um, uh, I didn't know where I was going. I just moved back from Georgia and she stated that God told her to take me out. We actually went out two Saturdays. One Saturday, um, we went to, well, we went to Joanne's both Saturdays, but the first one, um, I just bought some stuff for her scrapbooking and then the second one, it was when I picked out this fabric and she taught me how to make pillows. And the thing about it is that's why I, I was basically trying to bring home the thing of Ignite. Because at the end of the day, making pillows ignited something in me that was not there before. Or that I didn't know was there. God knew that by making those pillows, it would ignite something in me. Just as well as it is making these podcasts or doing... um you know, the videos, it awakened something that I didn't even know that I had. So what I'm saying to you as well, go after your dreams, go after what may make you afraid, what may make you scared, because God has already prepared you to succeed in that area. So don't be afraid to go after what you're supposed to or what is in your heart. A lot of times we are, we're so afraid of failure we're so, and some of us are even afraid to succeed that we actually paralyze ourselves and we stagnate ourselves. What I want you to do is try something new today. Just try something new or try something that you always wanted to do in your heart and see if you love it. If you love it, maybe you never know that that could be actually your passion and you will go after that way better than you did anything else in your life just try that today so that's it for me for right now at least for this podcast and uh i will talk to you soon thank you so much for listening um this podcast will be on stitcher uh pocket cast google play and i will upload it to youtube if um if that will actually you know, be better for you. But either way, thank you so much for listening. And until next time, bye.